it is time to start coding. And I have down below here, just to show you my structure, I have created a folder called Gum Playground. Gum is short for Get User Media. I have absolutely nothing in it. I'm going to create a file called index.html and another file called styles.css. I have pulled up the, the github.com page. It will look very different if, if this is how you get it. But whether you've downloaded the project or cloned it already or you come here, inside of starter files, there is a folder called Gum Playground. You'll have to click twice uh, probably because there'll be more stuff in there. And I want you to copy these two files. So I've grabbed index.html and pasting it in and then doing the same for styles. They may look slightly different when you get here. Don't worry about it. The main thing is that you're, you're copying the starter files and getting us off to the, the right start. If you open it up, it should look something like this. Make sure that you're seeing this and, and deal with any errors. We're just working on an HTML and a CSS file at the moment. I am going to briefly walk through the DOM here just so that you have it if you want to know how it's set up. If you don't want to take the time to go through this, please make a scripts.js file. It can be empty, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, but my line 8 here, I say this in almost every project I do, I am using Bootstrap, and I am sorry if it's not cool or if you don't like it. It is the way that I prototype things very quickly, so that's why I used it. Line 9 grabs our styles file, uh, which is pretty straightforward, not a lot in there. Line 12, we have a container and a row, which is bootstrap speak. And then line 13 down to 29 is this left-hand column over here. This is where all of the buttons that we will interact with. And it's set up pretty simple. It just has a class of button. We use four columns. Down below, we have the remaining eight columns. But each button has an ID that goes with whatever that, that action is. And that's what we will use to, to grab that particular thing and add our listener. So share. Show video, stop video, you get the idea. Down below line 30 to 39 is our video section where the two video tags are at. This one has a My Video ID on it. This one has Other Video. And I've got H3s in here, which I think are incredibly valuable because you probably will, will test the feed for both sides on the same computer, and it can get really confusing. I also have autoplay and plays inline. Those are very important when we start kicking off our feed because if those are not set, the video won't automatically play. Line 41 is scripts.js, uh, which we need to create. So please add scripts.js. And in the next video, we will start filling it out.